life. He can tell your lie, your knee. He be life. He don't know he lo jewa lo go. Right, uh, it's 12 minutes gone past the hour of nine. So I say good morning to you, sport lovers, this beautiful Monday morning. Today is the 19th day in the month of September, year 2022. And of course, uh, it's a perfect time to talk about sport. I must confirm to you that a lot of sporting activities are uh, kick off this weekend. Uh, all around the world uh, and we are counting down to nff election uh, scheduled to hold on the 30th of uh, september uh, 2022 and a lot of drama surrounding uh, the nff election we're going to give you all the details uh, as as regards uh, the nff election this particular morning and of course uh, in the cup champions league yesterday uh, the nigerian contingents talking about uh, rivers united lost uh, yesterday at uh, to watanga fc uh, by one goes to nothing but on aggregate goal uh, uh rivers united got 3-1 on aggregate goal elsewhere plati united uh, defeated their opponent by one goes to nothing you recall uh, that in the first leg it was a 2-2 draw about uh, on aggregate uh, plati united uh, uh, won two i mean 3-2 i mean two goes to three goes to three <laughs> And yesterday, it was also a shocking one for Remo Stars uh, as they were defeated by AS Rabas of Morocco by two goals to one. I mean, one, uh, two goals to one on aggregate because they lost uh, on their home ground. Recall that in, in, in the first leg, it was a 1 1 draw. And Quara United got a draw yesterday, uh, which made them three goals on aggregate. So, a lot of lots of, of stories are uh, coming from the world of CAF Champions League and also a CAF Confederation Cup. I must confirm to you that all the United team, as far as Nigeria football, professional league is concerned talking about uh, rivers united plate united and also quara united are true at the next game of the cup champions league and uh, competition Cup respectively <laughs> Also, the English Premier League is back uh, after the death of the Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, some matches kick off uh, on Saturday and yesterday. I must confess to you uh, that Man City uh, got the better of Wolfhampton uh, by three goals to nothing. <laughs> goal scored by Ernie Brown Allen, making it 11 goals this season. With Foden and of course Jack Grealish were also on the score sheet uh, as well. Fulham got the better of Nottingham Forest by three goals to two. <laughs> Tottenham defeated, uh, destroyed, and embarrassed uh, Leicester City by six goals to two. <laughs> and talking about Son scoring an hat trick uh, in a particular encounter. And Arsenal got a very good response uh, after losing to Manchester United in their last pictures of the Premier League. By defeating Bradford, uh, three goals to nothing. Uh, record that uh, last season, this this time last season, uh, uh, Arsenal were defeated by Bradford by two goals to nothing uh, in the first fixtures uh, of the EPA. But this season, uh, uh, it was a revenge from Arsenal as uh, we have uh, Gabriel Jesus uh, on the score sheet uh, and also uh, the likes uh, of uh, uh, their new player Fabio was also on the score sheet uh, away uh, from the Premier League this morning. Also, uh, Everton got uh, the better of West Ham United, and that is their first uh, win for this season. Uh, Frank Lampard's side uh, got a one-win victory uh, over uh, the London Rivals. <music> and uh, in the Germans' bonus league, uh, we have Osbos defeating Bayern Munich. Two guys are uh, uh, defeated by Frankfurt by three goals to one. And Morocha Gaga defeated as we left it by three goals to nothing. <laughs> and in the Spanish La Liga, the Madrid Derby. After all the drama surrounding the Madrid Derby, Real Madrid 
shows are really they are. My defeating us. Your city rival, Atletico Madrid. My two goes to nothing. And after all the dramas, uh, the dance still took place. Uh. In French League 1, PSG defeated Lyon by, goal, uh, by a long goal scored by Lionel Messi. And also this morning, I must confirm to you that the Europa uh, Nations League will resume action this week. And a couple of teams have released their squad for this particular encounter. The likes of England and France uh, uh, will also take part in this particular encounter. And talking about that also, don't forget that next week, Tuesday, and you have to play, take us to uh, Tunisia. Players' names have been released. Uh, players replacing players. Uh, Give you all the actions that, that you need to know ab about the nation's football and also in tennis one of the greatest players when it comes to the world of tennis uh, Roger Federer bows out as a tennis player after several years of winning Grand Slam and a lot of title uh, record to his name also the Davis Tennis Court Champions League as uh, currently in the quarterfinals uh, we are going to give you all the details uh, concerning uh, the Davis Cup and also a uh, news coming from Roger Federer this morning and also about basketball and I, I must tell you that it, it is set uh, for the final when it comes to European basketball France uh, will take home Spain in the final of the European basketball final <laughs> These are many more to come your way this morning. I saw no Mondays are money making days and also perfect time to talk about sport. This is Sports and Wave on EOB Live and we are broadcasting from the city of Ibadan. We do this every Monday morning, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Nigerian time, where we give you all the actions coming from the world of sport and also give you all the details that you need to know about sporting activities around the world. And on Wednesday, we call it the Midweek Edition, where we give you all the gist coming from the world of sport. We call it the Midweek Edition of Sporting Wave, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And on Friday also, it's Tango is Friday or edition where we wrap up the week and give you all the live action coming from the world of sport. You already know how we do it on this particular show. We give you all the best action coming from the ever exciting, ever interesting, ever blazing, ever amazing, and sometimes, uh, like I used to say, ever controversial. Of course, you can join us on our all social media platforms. We are on Facebook, uh, Live on Facebook, Instagram, uh, and Twitter as well. On our YouTube channel. And like it, but people used to say, MOCI, keep saying it. Like you used to know, my name is Ayom Mipun Adini. I am the captain of this new Chiba. So sit down, relax, uh, and start taking you to the journey or sport. Uh, we don't have much time this morning, but then uh, we have all the story to save you breakfast this early morning. Okay, this morning we'll be starting from the world of N N NFF election. Like I told you, a lot of dramas are surrounding it. NFF election. But don't you worry, 11 days to this election. One thing is for sure, power must change under. 11 out of the 13 candidates was clear, two were disqualified. One for invited nomination. Despite the disqualification, uh, we have more than two candidates that are seeking to succeed uh, Amadou Medu uh, Three out of the 11 clear candidates uh, are members of the current board, uh, which is led uh, by Penig. Uh. We have the current first vice president, Sheyi Akimumi. Second vice president, uh, and the dysfunction LMC chairman, Shewudiko. The current chairman of chairman, Musa Gasso. And 
We still have others that are seeking to be the next NFA president. Former international player Ida Pirasai. Calf head of safety and security Christian Emerua. Former Canopilla chairman Abba Yola. Others include David Wadi Dorati, Adam Mohamed, Musa Adamu, Amazi Ichengula. All are in the bid to replace uh, Amagi Ben Pinage. But the drama surrounding this particular encounter is that uh, some person have approached the Federal High Court uh, and they have put an order. But don't you worry, we never can tell. Uh, we still hope that uh, 38 of this month uh, the election will take place uh, in the capital city of Edo State, Billing City, 38th of September. Power must change. Uh, Let's keep our fingers crossed as we hope if the election will definitely hold. But recall in the last election, FIFA suspended Nigeria from all international activities because of third party interference. We are heading to the same direction this year also. We hope we don't get bad. But then, this is Nigeria. We hope to see dramas. Away from that this morning, we talk about tennis. And we're talking about uh, one great man, uh, one of the best uh, when it comes to the world of sports, uh, when it comes to the world of tennis. Uh, Roger Federer. You know him, uh, in case you don't know, he was born uh, on the 8th of August, 1918. Uh, he is uh, a Swiss professional tennis player, ranked world number one uh, by ATP. For about one and ten weeks, eh? including several records, three hundred and thirty-seven weeks, eh? several grand type type winner, Roger Federer has bowed as a tennis player. Second time this month, and earlier Serena Williams bows out, and now Roger Federer, one of the people that make us love the world tennis, eh? have signed out or oh, bow out. For being a tennis player, we wish him all the best. Uh. But quickly, let me give you some of his achievements uh, when it comes to Australia Open. He was the champion of the Australia Open for six times 2004, 2006, 2007, 2010, 2017, and 2018. Uh. And in the French Open, he has one title to his name. That was 2009, where he was crowned the champions of the French Open. I must confess to you that Wimbledon, he has a title to his name. Yeah, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007. He won it five times in a row and coming back 2009, 2012, and 2007. What a man, what an achievement, what a record also. And in the US Open, he was the champion in the year 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008 to make it five times in a row, back to back. And what a man, I definitely, we are going to miss him out of tennis. David Scarborough is ongoing uh, as we are through with the group stage. Heading straight to the quarterfinals. Uh. But before then, uh, let me give you the proceeding. Uh, coming from the group stage, uh, in group A, we have Italy, Corocha, Sweden, and also Argentina. Italy topping the group, followed by Corocha, followed by Sweden, followed by Argentina. Elsewhere in group B, we have Spain, Canada, Serbia, and Korea. Spain and Canada making it out of the group. And in Group C, Germany, Australia, France, and Belgium. We're in Group C, Germany, and Australia. 
make it out uh, of that particular group. And group D, one of the group of that, uh, Netherlands, being the top of that group, followed by USA, followed by the Great Britain, and also Cassistans, uh, Netherlands, and USA, make it out of that group. Okay, let me give you the pictures uh, of the quarterfinals. Uh, Italy, we take on USA. Germany, we take on Canada. Australia, we battle off with Netherlands. Uh, and Croatia, we face uh, Carlos Alcaraz, world number one uh, in that particular encounter. Away from that, uh, this morning uh, we are heading straight uh, to the English Premier League uh, as after the death of Queen Elizabeth, action has resumed. Uh, match has been decided, uh, and I must confess to you that Aston Villa defeated Southampton by one goes to nothing. Uh, Nottingham Forest uh, but defeated by Fuam by three goes to two. Goal scored by Taiwan Adeni Ade Awoni in the 11 minutes before Tosi Adarabioyo recolized for Fuam in the 54 minutes. It was a battle of Nigeria scoring goals in that particular encounter. But at the end of the game, it was Fuam 3, not 10 for S2. And you already know the back of Diego Costa in the English Premier League, although. City, where the best team are getting uh, three goals. Uh, first goal scored by Grealish in the early minutes, uh, one minute precisely. Before 16 minutes, Ellen Pro Island, uh, the super striker, getting uh, his 11 goals for this season. And later in the game, in the second half of the game, uh, before then, taking it all to make it 3 0. Three goals, uh, three points uh, for Citizen. And elsewhere, Newcastle play one of draw against Ben Morton. And again and again, Leicester City were crashed, defeated, destroyed, embarrassed by Tottenham Hotspur. Six goes to two. Harry Kane was on the score sheet. But before then, you're in cinemas. Score in the sixth minute by penalty. Before came and give them an equalizer he, almost immediately after the goals. And at the end of the day, it was six goals to an actual score by Son, one of the people, one of the players, people who have been criticizing this season. Ladies and gentlemen, we still have more to see on this show. But then, We'll be going in for a short commercial break. We have to pay some bills. And when we return now, we will give you all the latest coming from the ever exciting world of football. But until then, stay blazer. We'll be right back. <laughs> When it to lodge a yellow lono to first so the money baby. The febo shin lo lowo ki bo wa yo mari lori e raye lu jara. E o bi mo tako set ne be te. Ni ke e kwa si lo ni for your event live streaming and post production with digital video and photo. Fu a ye 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 to mbo lo no ye. E nye ni lo baju baja u lori. Ata wong ketra, server. When you are one professional usher, and maro no ibi meji, EOB Motor Concept Nigeria Limited. No, they can't pay. But you have to follow your journey. Tabi John Loroni, I can see EOB live online visual and radio. Be atule ji agbeno so. Ata shoju fu ile she ni kakiri agbaye. Be ba wan watu ko eto ihe MC Lodi Aria. EOB Motor Concept no ni ke ma bo. I think that you lojupa o ni journey kule. Aye aye ni ma demand it ba pe pe lu eri keke. Fu e kure. 
Ari ala yu ya mwero bani soro ini kema kwe 08056683178 Tabi 08030405500 Oloro go ni foru kore Belu EOB Mata Concept Limited Make your event a memorable one Right, in case you are just joining us, this is Sporting Wave on EOB Live, and of course, we are broadcasting live from the city of Ibadan, the proud of city, and of course, we have the best in the west and beyond. This morning, let me quickly tell you that Haxna has continued their impressive run after defeating Frankfurt by three goals to nothing. William Saliba opening the scoring in the 17 minutes before Gabriel uses double eight in the 28 minutes and Fabio Vieira in the second half of the record to make it 3 0. I must confirm to you that Arsenal are really doing well and this is the best time to be an Arsenal fan. So, Arsenal fans are listening to me all over this world. I say, up gunners, keep enjoying your moment. But then, one of the highlights of this week is Everton against West Ham. Where Everton got their first win of the season. Four scores by their like, season uh, signing, Mofe, in the, in the 53rd minute. And it was uh, an impressive one for them. Assists uh, made by uh, our own uh, Alex Iwobi. I must confirm to you that Alex Iwobi has been one of the best players when it comes to Everton side uh, this season. Away from that, let me quickly give you the rundown of the English Premier League table. Asna are in top with 18 points, followed by Manchester City with 17 points, Tottenham 17 points also, Brighton with 13 points, Manchester United with 12 points, Fulham with 11 points, Chelsea holding number seven position with 10 points, Liverpool with nine points, Brentford with nine points. Newcastle United with 8 points, making the top 10. Leeds United in the 11th position with 8 points. Bonnemont with 8 points. Everton with 7 points. Southampton with 7 points. Aston Villa with 7 points. Crystal Palace with 6 points. Wolverhampton with 6 points. And in the relegation position, West Ham United with four points, Nottingham Forest. After signing 21 players this season, they are holding the 19th position. And Leicester City currently at the bottom of the table with one point and minus 12 goal difference. Away from that this morning, we talk about a fresh link one. I must confirm to you that Paris Saint-Germain defeated Olympic Lyon by one goes to nothing. Goal scored by the, the world best footballer when it comes to Lionel Messi. That's where Brest were defeated by Jassio by one goes to nothing. Nays were not nice. When Angers are defeated them by one goes to nothing. There we have one of the record seasons. A player getting record in nine seconds. That was serious. Nate get a, a, a draw. It's nice. And Ken Fonts were defeated by Troy. Three goes to one. And quickly, let me give you the run town of the table when it comes to French League One, PSG with 22 points uh, after playing eight games, uh, Marcel with 20 points, uh, Lawrence uh, with 19 points, uh, Lenz uh, with 18 points, uh, AS Monaco with 14 points, uh, Lyon uh, with 13 points, uh, Lille with 13 points, uh, Rams uh, with 12 points, uh, Montepella with 12 points also, Troyes uh, with 10 points also. 
Jimmy Ford uh, with 10 points, uh, Sully Soul uh, with 8 points, nice, uh, with 8 points also, and guys, uh, with 8 points, I must confirm to you, uh, 19, with 7 points, uh, and in the bottom of the league, uh, Rams, uh, Press uh, and Ajaccio, uh, and in the bottom of the table, and in the Germans Boston League, uh, Bundesliga, it was a jammer. As Osborne defeated Bayern Munich by one goes to none. Borussia Dortmund defeated Shaka Ofo by one goes to nothing. Two guards also were defeated by Frankfurt. Three goes to one. Mainz and Akta Berlin a one one draw. Offenheim and Freiburg play a goalless draw. You know Berlin defeated Wolfsburg. By two goes to nothing. And currently, Junior Berlin uh, are in the top of the log uh, with 17 points. Uh, Borussia Dortmund uh, following them uh, with 15 points. Uh, Frimborg with 14 points. Uh, Offenheim uh, with 13 points. Uh, and defending champion, Bayern Munich uh, in the fifth position uh, with 12 points. Uh, Monty Blackback uh, in the sixth position with 12 points. Uh, Frankfurt with 11 points. Uh, Means and Colono, Werder Bremen. Occupying the 10th position with 9 points. Osborg occupying the 11th position with 9 points. Weather Bremen, 10th position with 9 points. Osborg also, 9th position. Arsby Lexburg, 12th position with 8 points. Atta Berlin, 6 points. Shaka Offer with 6 points. Bayern Leverkusen, 15 on the logger with 5 points. And when we talk about uh, the bottom of the table, Stuttgart with five points, uh, Wolfsburg with five points, and Pokémon with one point. Uh. Interesting story coming from Bundesliga. Away from that, this morning we move straight uh, to Italy. Serie A yesterday, Napoli defeated AC Milan by two goals to nothing. Elsewhere, Roman also in a dramatic decision uh, was defeated by Atlanta by one goes to nothing. Uh. And in that account, Jose Morillo was sent out. Uh, Molza defeated uh, the almighty Jiwe by one goes to nothing. Simonez uh, was defeated by Lazio by four goes to nothing. Frankfurt also was defeated by, 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 by Verona. Frankfurt defeated Verona by two goes to nothing. Udinese defeated Inter Milan by three goes to one. Torino also was defeated. Uh, by Sassuolo, by one goes to nothing. And Poli got a win. Lance got a win. I must confirm to you this morning that Napoli are currently in the top of the log with 17 points out of seven games. Atlanta following them with also 17 points. But separated with good difference. Houdinese 16 points. Lazio with 14 points. AC Milan with 14 points, AS Roma with, with 12 points, Inter Milan with 12 points, Juventus with 10 points, Torino, Florentina also make the top 10. I must confirm to you that Sassuolo was occupying the 11th position with 9 points. And uh, in the bottom of the league, Munza. That defeated Juventus, got their first win with four points, occupying the 18th position. Cremonese with two points, 19th position. And Sampdoria with two points. I must confirm to you that Allegri might be saga after this poor starter. And yesterday, it was a cracker, a drama in the Spanish La Liga. Where we saw the Madrid derby, it was a 2-1 goal where Real Madrid defeated Atletico Madrid by two goals to nothing after all the drama, after all the racism, the dance and everything, Real Madrid got the better of Atletico Madrid. Elsewhere, we have Cecilia defeated Espanyol by two goals to one, Villarreal and Sevilla play, one or draw. Osasuna were defeated by Getafe by two goals to nothing. Valencia 
Also, get put out of by three goals to nothing. Barcelona, continue their impressive run. After defeating Leche by three goals to nothing, Ria Mallorca also got a win. Cadet also got a win. Let me confirm to you that all across Europe, Real Madrid remained the only team to start its 100% record after winning 6 out of 6 with 18 points, followed by Barcelona with 16 points, Real Betis with 15 points, Athletic with 13 points, Sasuna with 12 points, Villarreal with 11 points, Atletico Madrid with 10 points, Real Sicilia with 10 points, Valencia, Mallorca. All made the top 10 and elsewhere, Giona, Valicano, Sexy, Santa Vigo, Catafe, with 7 points, Sevilla, Ameria, Espanyol, with 4 points. I must confirm to you that the bottom of the table when it comes to La Liga, we have Cadet and Edeche at the bottom of the Liga. It has been a, a impressive season, but then the European footballer will be going on an international break. And country football will definitely resume quickly. Let me give you the future starting from tomorrow. Scotland out, we host Ukraine, Kazakhstan, we host Belarus, Libya, we host. Moldova, friends, uh, take on Austria, Poland, uh, we party with Lena and Belgium uh, against Wales, uh, Russia against Denmark, uh, Slovakia is against Azerbaijan, uh, and elsewhere, England uh, definitely uh, play their match. Uh, but then, uh, the Super Eagle also, the Super Eagle also, will be on action uh, against Algeria on the 22nd of September. 8, 8 p.m. Nigerian timer. And Liz has been released. In the goalkeeper department, we have Okeye, Uzoye, and Adelaide in the defense lineup. We have Ekong, Balogun, Romero, Amezi, Aina, Salusu, and Basi in the midfield position. In the day, it will be Onyendika and Oyeka. And in the forward line, we were told that the captain of the side, Ahmed Musa, will be missing this tunnel every this particular encounter. But then, don't you worry. The near chow has been called Tukweze, Lukman, and Taiwo Awodi, Mofe, and Ejuku. All will be in action as they will resume camp today. And quickly, before I go, let me quickly give you news uh, coming from uh, the world of basketball. This morning, I must confirm to you that the final is set. Uh, the game against France uh, and Spain. I must confess to you, uh, after 24 uh, participating team, we have two top teams. The men has been separated from the boys. Uh, Lot uh, to watch out of uh, for Spain against France, uh. and with that, uh, we come to the end uh, of this edition of Sporting Wave on EOB Live. Uh. I must say thank you to all our listeners, followers, and fans uh, for your comments. Uh. But don't you worry, until I come your way again, uh, this time 9 a.m. on Wednesday. It will be in the midweek edition where we give you all the reports uh, coming from the world of football, uh, tennis, uh, basketball, uh, and of course boxing, uh, Formula One. This is the best station. Uh, you can get the best information when it comes to sports. My name is Ayo Mikwadeni. I am the chief host uh, of this particular show. Once I come away again on Wednesday 9 a.m., uh, stay blessed. Uh, keep fit. Keep following us on EOB Live and stay out of trouble. Stay blessed. Life, you can't tell your life.
Idolo yilo jewa logo.